my feed going. Here we are. Okay. Can you see me? <laughs> Here we are. Oh, let me turn off my sound. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Here, let me put this up just a tad. Dan is going to be back soon, um, and he's going to run the camera, but I thought that I would just get started. Be careful. Don't touch that, please. You want to come over here? You want to be in the live? Of course you do. <laughs> so, are we going to make a cake? Yeah. <laughs> As usual. Um, so, many of you might have noticed the other day, I posted on the Sugar Geek Show page, a cookie cake type thing. It's like, it can be in the shape of a letter or numbers, and it has like a cream filling on the inside mm -hmm. and fresh fruit and stuff on top. And it looks delicious. Yeah. And I thought that it was made by this one baker in mm -hmm. Israel. And so I started contacting her. And then I, mm -hmm. uh, some people started telling me that, that this other person was the original baker. And then I basically found out that it's been around for a really long time. And it's basically like the Israeli version of the naked cake. <laughs> so a bunch of different versions and everybody kind of has their own. And the other big mystery was what is this made of? Is it a cookie? Is it cake? What is it? And we discovered what it is. Dun, dun, dun. And I made one and I did a, I did a bunch of testing today. Be careful, don't fall. I did a bunch of testing today and found uh, basically my version of it um, based off of all of the different experiments and things that I could see online. I think this is pretty much what it is. And um, it's actually very similar to desserts that we used to make in pastry school. So it made sense to me that this is what it was, right? So I'm going to show you the first part of this while we're waiting for Dan and Avalon's going to try very hard to eat all of the goodies that we're going to put on it, huh? Did you eat one of these cookies? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So right here I have the magic ingredient. In case you don't know what we're making, it's a like a shaped dessert, right? So uh -huh. this is the, the mystery. Um, you can cut it into any shape and it's it's basically just tart dough. And I don't know how you pronounce it. It's like pat sable, pat sable, <laughs> sable, sable dough. Basically it's a tart dough with almond um, flour in it. Be careful. This is the one that you're gonna make. You're gonna make a little one, okay? So first let's show the people how we, how we uh, make the shape, okay? So you make your, your, uh, your pat sabli. <laughs> it's different than pat sucre. Pat sucre does not have almond in it. Dan is here. Dan. Thank you. So what you do is you make up your tart dough and you let it chill for at least an hour or overnight so that the flour has time to absorb um, all of the yummy goodness. And then the next day, ideally, you just let it come to, not room temperature, but just warm up a little bit so it's a little bit more pliable. Can I roll this out? And then we're just gonna roll it out nice and thin. Um, my oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. This is a lot easier to do with a French style rolling pin, which is a, a wooden rolling pin. So I'm just trying to get the, the, the center nice and thinned out. And make enough, uh, roll this out 
thin enough that I can get two of my templates on there. You can tell that the middle is still a little bit thick. So I think one of the mistakes that people make with tart dough is they want to make it really thick and you definitely want to make it on the thinner side because it's going to be very crunchy and crisp. And if you make it thick, it's going to be very hard to bite through. So you almost want it like, just like think of like a crisp wafer. Okay. So here is a heart template that I'm gonna have up on the website. The tart recipe is already on sugargeekshow.com. So if you want to make it right away, it's up. I will be adding the rest of the recipes for the macaroons and the filling and all that good stuff over the next couple of days. And uh, I'll also upload the templates that I'm using here. So I decided to do a heart one because I thought Valentine's Day, you know, it's coming up. And in case you hadn't noticed, I have rolled this out on top of a piece of parchment paper. You can also do it on top of a, um, what's it called? Silicone mat, baking mat. Cut that out. And let's say that you don't have quite enough, you know, space on one side for your other heart. This dough is super forgiving. You can just tear off a piece and press it onto wherever it is that you actually need it. And then, voila. It's very, very easy dough to work with. It's not like pie dough or something like that where you have to worry about it getting tough because there's so much butter in it. Thank you, my pudding. So, Dan, do you want to hold the phone? Or do you want to just stand there and it, uh, ask me any questions of people. Yeah, I can hold the phone. Okay. It's Is up your to phone going to die? Um, no, I just kept it plugged in. Okay. It's at like 40%. All right. Oops. Cover the screen here. So unplug it. Yep. crazy. And you can come around this side if you want to. All right. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So that way if you need to get closer up, you can. Okay. Her dog's in the background. That's fine. They can just see how sad of a life she has. She's not allowed There's upstairs. Luna. She's not allowed upstairs, so that's her way of um, fighting the man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Okay, so what are we doing here? All right, so I've got my tarts shapes, and um, you can just roll this extra dough back up and save it. I made one batch of this dough, and I made this heart, this smaller heart, and two of the A's. A. A. So this is the letter one. I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna make this one for the actual video tutorial. Okay, those are also Illuminati pyramids, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, Avalon's back. All right. All right, so then after you get your, um, your hearts cut out, or whatever shape you want to put this onto a sheet pan or something and put it into the freezer for I would say maybe 10 minutes to harden the butter up so that when you bake it it doesn't spread at all okay so we're not going to do that right now because we already have some baked off Avalon got to eat all the imperfect shaped ones hey put that knife down <laughs> no playing with knives Avalon. <laughs> don't shank me um so yeah Avalon was eating all of these imperfect macarons and was like, all right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so the second mystery. What is in this layered tart? What is it? Is it buttercream? Is it whipped cream? What is it? It's Diplomat. What's Diplomat? <laughs> diplomat is, uh, all these are French things, right? Okay. So Diplomat is just- French Diplomats? 
French diplomat. So, so you got to call I, was, a diplomat and it, have him come over to your it house. It was probably a dessert originally made for fancy diplomats. You got to trick him into staying at your Airbnb and then... Do you have a question? Yeah. yeah. I have another one. Oh, okay. Very interesting. <laughs> I have a question. You do? Is your question, can I eat a cookie? Yeah. Yes, you may eat a cookie. You want a little one or a big one? Why don't you eat this one? It got a ouchie on it. So you got a little dent. So the diplomat cream, the way that you actually make diplomat cream is you make something called pastry cream and then you add to that whipped cream and it makes it nice and fluffy and delicious. We're not gonna make pastry cream. We're not pastry chefs. So we're gonna make instant pudding. Oh. <laughs> This is so, like the poor man's diplomat, right? Yes, this is why I had you make instant pudding. Okay, <laughs> like, okay. Dan, make me this instant pudding. He's like, okay. <laughs> so you literally just take a box of the instant pudding mix and you make yourself up a batch. And the reason you want to use instant pudding is because it has gelatin in it, right? So that gelatin is actually going to help stabilize our whipped cream. Okay? Okay. So let me grab a bowl. A larger bowl here. All right, so we're gonna take some of our delicious instant pudding mix. <laughs> All of the pastry chefs are probably just cringing. We're trying to make this approachable for anybody, right? Yeah, yeah. And now I have some just whipped cream here. And I'm gonna add that into the pastry cream. So this is, uh, not pastry cream, whipped cream. And pudding. So we're going to lighten that up. Just mix it all up. The, the whipped cream already has vanilla and some powdered sugar added to it. And to, you, there is no specific recipe as far as like how much you should add to this. And what are you doing to this poor cookie? Don't play with it, <laughs> just smushed it. What a sad, <laughs> sad thing to do to a macaroon. Macaron, more French things. All right, Avalon, are you ready? Yeah. What sort of uh, pastry did you use? What's this called? This is called Pat Sabli, and it is basically a, a tart dough that has almond filling in it. Okay, and we have an almond sabli dough recipe on Sugar Geek Show. We sure do. Dot com. All right. Okay, I'm gonna borrow these. This is gonna be Avalon's piping bag. Okay. Open that up. Okay, put your hand right in here, hold like that. And I'm gonna put some, some yummy cream in there for you. Okay? Remember when we piped the cupcakes? You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be like that. And if it's not pretty, that's okay because it's gonna be delicious. Wait for mommy, okay? <laughs> Are we gonna be able to wait? There's some yummy popcorn in there. Oh, I'm yeah. Scoot you over a little bit. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Need some elbow room here. If you guys have any questions, just shout them out. Dan is here. I'm here. Avalon's here. And, and Mommy is here. Mommy is here, too. And I'm going to show no, Mrs. Shell's at home. She's doing her own live right now. Cause we're just we're just a bunch of livers. All right. So I'm gonna take my cookie, and Avalon's gonna take her cookie. You put it right here. Okay. And watch, mommy. All right. We're gonna pipe a little dot like that. And some people do them like uh, all the way around the outside first. Could you do this with buttercream also? I would not recommend doing buttercream for a tart dough because uh, it's not gonna taste as good. Like you need that creamy filling. Okay, and what type of um, Squeeze. tip are you using? This is just a round tip. Squeeze and what, stop. What kind of pastry bags are you using? Truly Mad Plastics Disposable Pastry Bags. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna let you keep going. 
And mommy's gonna pipe hers. Ta-da! Ta-da! So you don't want to pipe too much because it's it's like a it's a delicate filling, you know. Is there a way that you could um, make this into like a s'more? Could you flavor it in a way that it tastes like a s'more? I bet you you could definitely like make a shaped graham cracker and then do like maybe a meringue. Good job, Avalon. Look at you. <laughs> you gotta keep squeezing, honey. Squeeze the top. Here, put your hand on top here. Squeeze with this hand. There you go. Keep Wait, going. That's too big. It is a little bit too big. You're just like mommy, perfectionist. Yeah. It's okay, Avalon. You can just keep working at it. Work at your own pace. It's still gonna be yummy. Yeah. Good job. I'm sorry guys, I can't even talk right now. I'm just overwhelmed with cuteness. <laughs> <laughs> good job, everyone. you're so good. Can you put one more dot right there? Good job. I need a hug. You did. Good job. I'm really honestly super impressed. <laughs> I did a Okay, so then we put the top piece on like a sandwich. Like this. Okay? Let me eat it. Wait. <laughs> Let me put some more um, filling in here for you. I know, she's doing better than I could, too. What you think, Avalon? Um, he's helping me the more on there. Alright, here you go. Put your hand right here. Hold on. Start up at the top. Keep going. <laughs> you have to make the noise too. The, the sound effects are very helpful. Very helpful. Then you put the top piece on there. Looks so pretty. And then another layer of your cream. I think you could put whipped cream on top too if you if you didn't want to do the diplomat for both. Right, because it doesn't need the structure. Right. At that point. Yeah, just keep in mind that these are not stable fillings. They're delicious, but it's like make this and then eat it the same day type of thing, or possibly the next day. So it's not like a cake where you could make this and then let it sit in the refrigerator for a few days if you had to. You really need to eat this within a couple days, I would say. I'm running out of cream. Uh, almost. Almost. Almost there. <laughs> this is Pat Sable. Sable. We not, have an not almond. Not Sable, Sable. Sable. Look at that. <laughs> Good job, Avalon. Is that yummy? Yeah. Does this dough get soggy? It does not. This is tart dough. Oh, okay. So this is the dough that you would literally make a fruit tart with. You pre-bake the dough in the tart pan. You fill it with Diplomat cream or pastry cream, and then you put fruit on top. So it's just like that, except it happens to be shaped. I'm going to steal some of your, your cream, Avalon, for my little... Is that real yummy? Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way for a second. Let's make some filling. This is buttercream, just the Swiss Marine buttercream. <laughs> and I have here some strawberry uh, puree. Uh, this recipe is not on the website yet, but it is in my book, <laughs> if you happen to have my book. There the uh, almond sablé. 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 Mm -hmm. Almond sablé dough recipe is on sugargeekshow.com. Yes. In the recipes section. Yes. And I, I'm videoing this whole process and I'll post this live to the page as well if you need instructions on actually how to make this particular thing. But I think it's pretty self-explanatory once you know how to make the filling and make the dough. I'm just going to cut the tip off this 
piping bag real quick. You can also use um, jams or jellies if you want for the fillings. I just happen to really like the buttercream mixed with the strawberry. Has that nice fresh flavor. Look, a yummy flavor. Okay, don't, okay. Stop licking, please. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to put this as the filling for the macaroons. Macaron. <laughs> you got to say it like that. I know, you sound like such a dork. So the reason why the buttercream is great for the macaroons is because um, they uh, it's butter-based, so it's not going to make the macaroons soggy, whereas jelly can make it soggy over, over time. Oh, okay. So you got some nice macaroons. I also made some little baby ones for Avalon. Yummy, yummy, yummy little baby ones. Look at the little babies. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. So this one is sort of like berry themed, but you could do chocolate themed or lemon, like just changing up the flavors to fit whatever it is you want to make, right? Do we already have an argument over macaroons and macarons being different? Oh, uh, not yet, but um, <laughs> can you add caramel to the buttercream recipe that you used? Yeah, absolutely. Caram salted caramel buttercream is delicious. And those ones are for you. Yep, I also have some little meringues. These are very cute as well, it's super easy. So I'll have the recipe for the meringues, the macarons, and the strawberry filling, and the video for this dessert uh, over the, this next week because that's just too much work to do in one day. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Plus Dan would like kill me. No, it's really All right. Nice. Okay, so um, let's see, one more thing. I grabbed my chocolate, be right back. Hmm? Huh, huh? Yeah. Oh. I've got some white chocolate candy melts here. And a lot of people don't do this step. I really think it's important. You can also use, um, what's it called? Safety seal to seal the ends of your flowers. So I have just here some like um, daisies, I guess you call them. And these cost a whopping $2. <laughs> and you have little, um, a little stem and pretty much no flowers that you're gonna be able to buy at the store are going to be food safe. So I really think it's important to um, dip the bottom of the flower in some chocolate or some safety seal to seal any sort of liquid that's gonna drip out of the flower and keep it from going into your food. So, you know, it's an e easy way to kind of keep the moisture into the flour. So let that set up. And then just be like, uh, don't eat those flowers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Avalon, you ready to decorate your heart? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, one second. Keep decorating my heart. Yeah. Just one yeah, decorate your heart. Can you decorate your heart too? Yeah, look at that. Oh. That looks yummy. Okay, so we need to put a flower on here. What color flower do you want for your heart, Avalon? What color flower? Um, um, blue. Blue? I, it's like I knew you were going to say that. Is your favorite color blue? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's get that one over set over there for you real quick. And we need to put one of these on here. Can you pick a spot for that? Somewhere on there? Just put it on. Right there? Is that where you want it? Okay. And what about one of these? Put one of those on there? If the petals touch, would you need to dip those too? No, because you're just we're just keeping the water that is inside the flour from leaking into the cake, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, you, I, I don't worry so much about the actual petals on them. There you go. Now you're getting it. Oops, this one slipped apart. Let's put that.
put that one right there. Here, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then put your flower on. What do you think? It's good. Is that beautiful? Yeah. Mommy, eat it. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just put one more one more thing on here. You can take some fresh fruit. One of the reasons why this is very perishable. Put a couple of fresh berries on there. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Mommy's going to do hers so that everybody can see the rest of the instructions. What do you want to cover it? So put one, like a flower here, and a flower there. And like a couple macaroons, macaron. This. Macaron. <laughs> That's a mm, yummy. Let's see. Let's go like. Don't want it to be too perfect, you know. Be kind of a couple of. Raspberries. Mm, raspberries. Yeah, raspberries. And don't touch, please. This is my picture one, so you gotta keep your hands off. <laughs> that looks so pretty. What's wrong, honey? Uh, I'm gonna take that one off. You got dirty hands. No, Aww. I got buttercream hands. Buttercream hands. <laughs> you got buttercream hands. I'm so sorry. I will help you in just a moment. Where's the towel? You and your dirty hands. Okay. I can't have any of them being quite at the same angle or it'll bother me. Yeah. How much do you think you'd charge for something like this? That's kind of just like depending on the area, right? I mean... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, I would say this is something that you probably get at like Whole Foods or something. So, what do you think? Maybe like twenty five dollars. I know that fruit tarts run for twenty six in our area at a Whole Foods. Yeah. yeah. So maybe like thirty bucks uh, if you can do that in your area. We're in Portland, so we can charge thirty dollars for a fruit tart. And especially for something that's shaped like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then I would put this onto like one of those gold round boards, those like bakery boards, so that it's just, you know, sitting on something nice. And then you can box it up in a nice little cardboard box and serve it. So yeah. Avalon, do you want to eat your fruit tart? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I bet everybody wants to see how, how it goes when you eat it too, huh? Can you take a bite? Like a cookie. <laughs> Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. She doesn't like fruit though, so she just wants the cookie part. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure how you would sell these out of your house. Um, just because this is like a storefront bakery kind of thing. Right? Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is just for fun, because I want to make some of these, I'm going to post this picture to my Sugar Geek Show page or maybe my Artisan Cake Company page and just say, hey, I'm going to be running a Valentine's Day sale. If you want one of these tarts, you can or place your order ahead of time and pay for it and then pick it up on Valentine's Day or the day before Valentine's Day and, you know, pre-sell them. I know, right. I know, I have a lot of friends who do cupcake sales that way. Right. So, so then you can make them all up the same day, box them up, and then people can just pick them up. There you go. As they go, and it's a good, good way to make something kind of special. And um, I'm a home-based bakery, so I don't have a storefront, but obviously, if you had a bakery, this would be very easy to do. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm pretty excited about this funness. I love learning new things. Avalon's excited. Is that tasty? It's <laughs> so messy. Fancy. Definitely just make sure that you are, um, you know, cutting your tart dough thin enough, you're rolling it out thin enough, and you're um, keeping this, um, what do I say? Like you're not keeping it in the fridge for three days. Like it's a fresh, fresh thing to serve, so. Yeah, can That's you it. cut these into pieces? And, like will the dough break? Well, um, I would show you, but I 
got to take a picture of this, but it's a tart. So it's like, um, it's not like going to be like a cake where you can cut it into thin slices. This is like you would get this beautiful thing in a box and then you would destroy it with a fork, <laughs> you know? So we get to eat this later. Yeah. Maybe it's not keto. <laughs> <laughs> so any other questions? Please like and share this video. Share it with everybody. Um, I think it's a fun thing that everybody wants to learn how to, to make. Um, I'm sure this is going to ruffle some feathers because it's, you know, basically a version of a dessert that just exists, right? I don't think anybody owns this particular dessert. So I think it was fair to make a tutorial on it. But I wouldn't normally just show, hey, this is this video that I saw on Instagram. I'm going to show you how to make it. It's just a very common dessert. So don't be messaging me getting all like, ah, you know about it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll put the recipes up on sugargeekshow.com. All recipes are free. The whole process of making this dessert is going to be in a blog post, probably up on um, Wednesday. And uh, that's it for now. What do you think, Avalon? Is that good? You are so spoiled. You get all the good stuff. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye. Say bye, Evelyn. Bye.